Yo, it's Mo Salim here from TripleYourT.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Tongat Ali and whether it's actually a proven testosterone booster in men. Alright, so Tongat Ali, aka Long Jack, aka Yuri Koma Longifolia, aka Malaysian Ginseng, goes by a lot of names but basically this is a herb that's native to parts of Southeast Asia and namely Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos and Vietnam and traditionally it has been used in these areas to treat a wide variety of conditions. In Indonesia and Malaysia the root of this plant is boiled in water after which the water is consumed to treat erectile dysfunction, jaundice, intestinal worms and relief from fever. In Vietnam the fruit and flowers of this herb are used to treat digestive issues, malaria, and relief from fever as well. Today, Tongat Ali is a very popular ingredient added to many of the best-selling testosterone boosters on the market. What we're going to look at is the scientific research of whether it's actually proven to boost testosterone. So just a note on scientific studies before we get started. You might read on a label that a particular ingredient is scientifically proven to work, but I put that in quotes there because a lot of times that science has been performed in a low quality animal study or a test tube study. So although technically it is scientifically proven to work, practically it does not carry over in humans in the same way. So in this video, I'm going to go over four studies that were actually performed in humans. So in this first study, 76 men that were suffering from the symptoms of low testosterone were given 200 milligrams of Tongat Ali extract for one month. So testosterone levels were measured via a blood test once before and once after the 30 days of treatment. So at the start of the study, before they started supplementing with Tongat Ali, about 36% of the men had testosterone levels in the normal range. After the 30 days of supplementation, 91% of the men had testosterone levels in the normal range. So yeah, according to this first study, Tongat Ali supplementation definitely has a positive influence on testosterone. All right, so in the second study, 32 men were brought in and screened for moderate stress. Half of these men were assigned to receive a daily dose of 200 milligrams of Tongat Ali and half of them were assigned to receive placebo. Hormone profiles were assessed once before and once after 30 days of treatment. Researchers also assessed the relative moods of each of the subjects by having them complete a mood state survey. So at the end of the 30 days, not only did the men receiving uh, Tonga Ali have significantly higher testosterone levels, it was something like a 37% higher free testosterone level compared to placebo, but they also had lower cortisol levels, which was something like 16%, and they also had significantly reduced occurrences of tension, anger, and confusion. So yes, again, Tonga Dali has been shown to have a positive influence on testosterone, but keep in mind that these men were screened for chronic stress, so if you are not currently stressed, it is not likely that you will see the same drastic results. All right, so in this third study, 13 elderly men over the age of 57 were brought in and given 400 milligrams of Tongat Ali extract for five weeks. At the end of these five weeks, the men had 61% higher free testosterone levels. So yes, once again, Tongat Ali supplementation had a tremendous impact on the men's testosterone levels. But keep in mind that these were elderly men. So if you are currently below the age of 60, then it's not likely that supplementation will have the same effect on your testosterone levels as well. So in this fourth study, 26 men were brought in and randomly assigned to receive either 300 milligrams of Tongat Ali extract or placebo for 12 weeks. So the primary measurement in this study was uh, their sexual performance and quality of life. And the secondary measure of this study was uh, their hormone profiles. So at the end of 12 weeks, the men that were given Tongat Ali compared to placebo had significant improvements in their sexual performance and their libido. And they also increased their total testosterone levels by 10%. But what's actually interesting is that their free testosterone levels actually declined by something like 18%, all right? Now you have to understand the difference between total testosterone and free testosterone. So free testosterone is actually the number that matters because it's only free testosterone that can exert its influence on your body and mind. All right, so based on these four studies, three of them show a drastic increase in testosterone levels because of Tongat Ali supplementation, 
while one of them shows actually a moderate increase in total testosterone and a decrease in free testosterone, all right? But the point to understand is that the three studies that showed the most drastic results were actually performed in men with very low testosterone levels to begin with, men who were moderately stressed, and men who were elderly, all right? This fourth study, which showed an increase in total T but a decrease in free T, was the only one that was actually performed in men who were otherwise healthy. So yeah, these are points to keep in mind, but for the most part, Tongat Ali supplementation does seem to have a positive influence on testosterone. As per Tongat Ali's effects on bodybuilding, I actually was able to find one study in which healthy men were randomly assigned to receive either 100 milligrams of Tongat Ali or placebo for five weeks while they were put on an intense resistance training program. And at the end of five weeks, the men that were given Tongat Ali lost more fat, gained more muscle, and had bigger arms as well. And in the third study that I mentioned before on that was performed on the elderly men, it was also noted that the ones that were given Tongat Ali had much greater grip strength, all right? Something like a 16% increase in their grip strength compared to placebo. Now, grip strength is not an indicator of overall body mass, but it is an indicator of overall body strength. So that is another interesting point to note. Some other benefits of Tongat Ali supplementation include an anti-anxiety, pro-erectile agent, aphrodisiac, improved uh, bone mineralization, and estrogen blocking as well. But these benefits were actually the one, the studies that I found to back up these benefits were not actually performed in humans, but they were performed in rats and test tube studies. But at the end of the day, these are definitely some potential benefits that supplementation can have. As for the side effects of Tongat Ali, what I was able to find on WebMD was that it might cause insomnia, elevated heart rate, and restlessness. So in conclusion, Tongat Ali is definitely one of the better testosterone boosting ingredients available on the market, and more evidence than not supports a positive influence on testosterone. Personally, I've never tried it because I don't rely on supplements to see results, but if you're someone who's looking into this, then you can try it out, but please, do not rely on supplements as the sole means towards getting results. Diet and lifestyle changes should always come first. With that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleYourT.com. I hope that this video provided you with the information you were looking for, and I'll see you soon.